Ciao. We're back again from Italy. We're going to be doing a mechanics of materials problem. Uh, we're going to jump right to it. So we got here a plug with a diameter of 30 millimeters and it's fitting into a sleeve with a diameter of 32 millimeters. And we're trying to see if we can press this um, plug here to make sure that the uh, plug and the, the sleeve are of the same radius uh, or diameter. So we're trying to figure out how far must the plug be compressed in order to do it. So we have the Young's modulus and the Poisson's ratio, Poisson, not poison, it's a French name, uh, 0.45. So let's kind of write what we got. So we got the diameter of the smaller one, I'm just going to call D, the plug is th uh, 30 millimeters, and big D, I'll call, uh, since it's the larger one, we'll call it 32 millimeters of the sleeve. We know Young's modulus and we have Poisson's ratio. So, like I said, we want the radii or the diameter of these two to be the same. So, how do we do that? Well, we know that that means the change um, in the x direction for this plug will be two millimeters because we're going from 30 to 32. The difference is two, and now we want them to be the same. Well, we know strain in the x direction is the change in distance over the initial distance. Well, we know we want the change in distance to be two and we know the initial diameter was uh, 30. So we have that and we get 0 0.066 um, as the strain. And remember strain is unitless because it would be like millimeters over millimeters which is essentially just nothing but uh, it's, it's a ratio. So then we know from Poisson's ratio we have the change in the length, or the change in the x direction, the change in the z direction um, is constant, has a constant, and we know that constant is 0.45. And we also just figured out what EX is, the strain, or the epsilon X, so now we can find what epsilon Z is. And that would be 0.148 by simple uh, algebra there. And we know that strain, remember, is just change in length over initial length, but this is in the Z direction now, so we're going up and down instead of left and right this time. And we know what uh, epsilon is, we know it's point or negative 0.148, and we know the initial length was given as 50, right? 50 millimeters. So then we find delta L, delta L would be negative 7.41 millimeters. Now why negative? Well negative is because this material is being compressed, so the length will be shorter, right? So that's how you think about your answers uh, intuitively, make sure that it makes sense. Now finally we're trying to see how much force would be required, or uh, pressure, I should say, how much pressure is required to do this. Well by Hooke's law we know uh, stress is uh, Young's modulus times the elasticity in the z direction. And remember, stress is another, another word for force. Really, stress is force over area. Pressure, pressure is also force over area. So we can just solve for stress, which is pressure. And we were given the Young's modulus of 5 megapascals. We just calculated EZ, the elasticity in the z direction. So we know the stress is 0.74 megapascals. And that is the problem. And hope this video helped. And happy studying in your college or intuitive or just I guess good luck studying and keep I wish you all the best in your future endeavors there you go farewell from Italy